this. Okay, so uh, first game of winners finals. We're going to battlefield. I'm uh, guessing we have Luma in red and Usleon in blue. Luma taking uh, a little bit of control early, drops the tech chase. Let's uh, Usleon back on the stage. Good tech chase with a dash attack there. Nice down air to neutral air. And Luma kind of messes up his recovery, but Usleon is the one who ends up dying for it. Over commits. Yeah, Fakes, that wasn't uh, part of a strategy, I just wanted to test out the Falco at a smaller tournament like this and see how it would do in tournament against VK. It usually does pretty well in uh, friendlies, so I just wanted to see you really, but uh, yeah, in general, stay with uh, my character. And uh, yeah, it probably would have ended up better too, so I should have listened to my own advice. Okay, so uh, Luma is in uh, quite a lead right now, stock and a half or so, and he's uh, still adding on percentage. Luma still holding on to his first stock here. Plus Leon is struggling to uh, find the answer. Luma still alive and adding percentage to uh, to his Leon. It's almost looking as bad as uh, my game on FT against Luma. But Uzleon finally closes out that first stock and uh, Luma takes Uzleon's third stock. So Uzleon definitely has a mountain to climb in this, uh, this match. It's not impossible though. She can... Uh, cheap kill herself fairly easily so all it takes is a couple really solid reads from Usleon and uh, it's back on track but right now it's uh, Luma taking control here on this potentially last stock of Usleon's this game Luma content to just jab away and keep adding a little percentage knows he has three stocks to take this one stock so not in a rush to get the finish by any means and uh, Luma takes the first game quite uh, commandingly. Uh, Zelda, and Luma is a gentleman and lets him switch back. Punishes that spot dodge with a really good down smash. And uh, Usleon opts to go for the ledge, but Luma not having any of it. Ed chogs him and uh, is again in a pretty comfortable lead. Makes fix. I uh, have this as a backup profession since uh, my playing days are uh, limited. <laughs> Luma uh, still holding on to this stock. Let's see if Usleon can close it out. He can't and he goes for the F smash. Uh, and when you see Usleon F smash randomly like that, uh, it happened to me a lot in my set too. It's 99.9% .9 of the time it's a misclick. You're not really going for the F smash. You're trying to be too quick with a dash attack or a pivot F tilt, and uh, that's what comes out. So, uh, yeah, it's not a, a matter of option choosing. Usleon closes out Luma's first stock. Not as uh, bad of a deficit this time as uh, it was last time. So, this is definitely doable. And, uh, and Usleon wants this game if, uh, if he wants to make the set a bit more interesting. I'm guessing this is best of five. 
So um, it's definitely he still has a chance even if he were to lose this game. But uh, you want to keep it tight. You want to keep the set tight. You don't want to feel like you have to climb a mountain to get there. And uh, Luma is taking um, charge of this game too. And Usleon really needs to turn it up. Has beaten Luma in the past. He knows he can do it. It's just uh, a matter of finding... Uh, Ooh, really nice recovery by Luma. I was expecting him to uh, just fall to his death there. Good tech chasing by Luma. Uzleon's probably getting a little frustrated. He's not closing out this stock quick enough. Oh, even misses after that F tilt. I wonder if he's not quite warmed up. It's been a while since he played his last game. and uh, uh, It's not like any Sheik main really to drop... Uh, a perfectly fine F tilt like that and not get anything off of it. So, might be a little bit of rust or just cold hands. As uh, Luma crouch cancels at 120% to hit him with the down smash. Classic Luma dirty advice or dirty uh, tricks rather. Okay, what's the on? About to take Luma's second stock. And he's at 103% and he needs to kill Luma twice. Not impossible, but improbable. And uh, Luma probably seals the deal right there. And we're going to game 3, 2-0 Luma thus far. This is still winner's finals though, so uh, even if it's a shutout here, it won't really matter too much because uh, he gets another chance in uh, the loser's bracket. And... Uh, yeah, who, uh, if uh, Uzleon loses this game, he's uh, going up against VK. And they already played in winner's bracket, where Uzleon played Fox the entire time. I would be interested to see him actually stick with stick with Sheik. Um, but his Fox is, is pretty solid, and yeah. Um, I wouldn't blame him for going Fox since it's worked the past two times. But yeah. Show a little bit of honor, stay your main, see if uh, you can do it, and then you have game two and three if everything goes to hell. So VK is uh, getting better at the Sheik matchup every time uh, he shows up to one of these. Luma hits him with a double poof. Uzleon not quite prepared for it, so Uzleon at a slight percentage lead here and actually gets the first, actually gets the lead for the first time in stocks. Uh, this set. Luma closes it out fairly convincingly. No, he's still alive. Oh, and he messes up the back air there. If you're a little too slow with the back air after you jump, you're not gonna hit a crouching opponent. You kind of have to uh, back air at uh, one of the very first few frames to hit that. Or just short hop and get it on the way down, but either way, he messed it up. And we have a really tight game as Luma gets a shield grab, almost gets a tech chase, but Uzleon is expecting that grab, crouch cancels it to a down smash and uh, punishes Luma as Luma hits with the two back hits of the down smash. Normally you want to hit with the front of the down smash because uh, the hit is way stronger, uh, but at uh, lower percentages you can uh, you can combo nice quite nicely the two back hits into each other and possibly get more damage than you would with just a single front hit. Luma forcing Uzleon to recover again. This is the Sheik matchup 101, just edge guard and rinse and repeat. As uh, Uzleon uh, tries to get a shield up, but his momentum sent him off stage, so he turns into an uh, air dodge suicide. Luma makes it back, but gets grabbed, and Uzleon drops a tech chase. Air dodges away from that needle, gets hit with follow-up needle. So Luma is getting really aggressive here. He just wants to add own percent before Uzleon inevitably takes the stock. And uh, yeah, you see the problem there. Uzleon could have turned around and hit him with a uh, with, uh, down smash, but he uh, had his back turned and uh, the back hits are way slower to come out than the front hits. So. Uh, Luma saw him down smashing the wrong way and just grabbed him before any of the back hits even had time to come out. And we got a really, really tight battle right now. Ooh, there could have been a cheap kill, but uh, Uzleon uh, not quite cold enough to uh, just keep holding the ledge there. And uh, Luma gets away with what was a uh, very risky recovery. 
Gets a really important take on the platform there. So we have a really close game right now, but Luma had the stage control, but he just gave it away by messing up there. He could have up to the ledge and not gotten any lag, but I guess he just missed it somehow. And again, we're back to tie game. Yeah, we're right at that percentage where it can get a little tricky to, uh, to land a dash attack into a bear. It can still be done, but you kind of have to switch it up a bit. And, uh, Luzleon finally gets a good shield poke with that strong hit back air. And Luma hits him with a fair out of nowhere. And we got a tie game again. Luzleon taking control early here on the last dock. Really needs this game. He doesn't want to get 3 0 by Luma. He wants to make this respectable. Tries the combo breaker near, but doesn't quite get it. As Luma SDs and we have a uh, 2-1. Can um, Usulion bring this set all the way back from being down 2-0? I'm assuming uh, Luma might go FD. Don't want to say that too loud because I'm sitting pretty close to the players and I don't want it to be a uh, coaching thing. As Luma goes... Peach on FOD, aka the liver pick. <laughs> Peach on FOD. <laughs> yeah. Well, Luma thinks it's a good idea too. <laughs> As uh, Uzleon gets a good grab into dash attack there. And uh, you can see what Luma is going for down smash in and around those weird platforms on FOD. Tucson goes for a very brave down air there, but gets away with it. Luma is trying to set up some uh, float shenanigans, but Tucson not giving him the time, just staying in his face, aerialing him out of it, and uh, messes up somehow in the recovery there. I think maybe he lost his jump. It's these weird sort of things that happen when you trade with Peach. Really nice read on that roll. Doesn't quite charge it enough get the sweet spot to uh, to kill but um, any little hit should really kill Luma at this point Ooh, kills him with the up air not very uh, common in the European scene to see Sheiks get uh, killed with that up air but uh, as we just saw it's still possible even with a weaker combo based up air. And uh, you can see Luma grinning even though he's completely dark on the camera. You know he's got to be smiling after that dirty down smash on the platform. But Dusan still ch uh, like following to the platform though, not respecting it at all. Even though he just ate like 70% of the last one. Gets the shield grab really late there, but he still gets it somehow. Uh, Luma floats back to the stage with an air dodge. Good fair by Dusan. Another good fair. See if he can pick up this edge guard. He cannot. Luma makes it back on stage and tries to set up or get some uh, tech chasing started. It's not quite there. And uh, Dusan gets a good grab. He can't really uh, get a kill off of uh, Sheik's grab in this version of the game, which is a bit of a shame. You just, uh, you can only use it to like control the stage and control position and add some damage, but it doesn't really lead to anything. Lower percentages, you can get a dash attack out of it or a fair depending on the DI, but good jab to neutral air there. Dusan's uh, camping with some needles and uh, the Ass of Doom comes through. Dusan gets a good shield grab. Smart tech by uh, Luma there, but gets a little greedy with the down smash. Gives uh, Dusan uh, free down air. As uh, Luma does not opt to uh, take the ledge there. That time he does, forces Dusan to go high, and he gets a neutral air for it. 
Deuce on still not safe though. And uh, finally he dies. Luma with a slight lead here in game four. If he takes this, he's in uh, grand finals. And uh, Deuce on has to uh, go through a uh, pesky Jigglypuff to, uh, if he wants to uh, get his spot in grand finals. But he doesn't have to go down that way. He can still bring this back. And he takes out Luma's third stock. And we got a really tight game. Luma with a slight lead, but ultimately the percentage isn't that big of a deal. But Luma's kind of taking control on this last dock. Duzon playing with a little bit too much respect. Then he goes for that shield grab, which isn't safe against Peach. And uh, Luma takes the set 3-1. And we got Uzleon in losers finals going up against uh, our very own Berlin Jigglypuff. VK. Fauka, as he's called in Germany. And he unwraps his controller. Dare you play Peach with my controller, Luma? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> 